All right, we're back. Got the old dump trailer. Ooh, one scoop. We got one scoop in there. Professional scoop, one professional scoop. So we are hauling a load away with the war wagon today. Oops, I left the door open. Uh, skid loader is in place. The reason the war wagon with the trailers here is we brought some forms out today. Finished the concrete up yesterday. Slept in big time today. Big sleeping day. My sister's walking behind me. He's going to remain quiet. I may hand this off to him. Uh, that's how it turned out. Oop, don't fall in. Uh, rebar safeties are in the mail, kids. They're in the mail. Here, I'm going to hand this off. <laughs> so, yeah, look at me. No hands. Woo. So, uh, we went ahead and transferred out. I'll show you. sunny out today. This is the form system we're using. ICF, an insulated concrete form. They come flat packed. You open them up. This one has to be bowed super massively bad, which is kind of lame, but it'll get all straightened out. They're light. That's one-handed. Lefty, you get me all in there? Oh, yeah. And those will kind of just plop in. A little adhesive on the bottom. This tray right now is representing the inside. We're going to do this all the way across. If all things work out right, it'll just come in right like this. Just like that. We'll pour this part first until we get a full perimeter around and then we'll start stacking up. So, what we did today, it was pretty easy because I'm pro as shit. The stuff is like slam perfect, we triangulated it out, tits on perfect, not even a sixteenth off. This is what we got now. We we're having a little problems getting the pencil marks, so we just put a piece of uh, duct tape down. But this is uh, this is the poured concrete wall. We all set our rebar in because the dynamic pressure of the dirt pushing out, you want that rebar on the inside. With steel, I could bend it. We already got our rings on there for our verts to tie in. You drop them right in there, bloop, right, bloop, 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 right there. That's how that works. Uh, let's go over here and look at, the, look at the corners. I carried that down like on my back. Just carry that whole thing. Okay. <laughs> right, get in here. So this is like looking at the bottom. It's rounded. The corners are rounded. There's rights and lefts. That concrete will flow real nice. And uh, it'll all get stacked around the way. You start, the cor you start in the corners with a corner, and you fill into the middle. That's how we do it. Pretty sweet. Let me take this back. Oh, careful. My cameraman just about, <laughs> just about took a header. So here's the ladders. These will go in the forms to straighten the walls out, make it perfectly straight. I mean, that should be pretty straight. Just brought a few out for now. Um, yeah, we'll go around and show you the corners and everything, how it all worked out. So we got this corner all set. We did. I'm not gonna lie. We had to adjust a little bit. I was a quarter inch off perfect true square, so we had to shift a little bit. But that's why your oversized oversized uh, footing, so you can do that. Got okay, that's perfect. We basically took we divided this thing up into two squares. We did the big square and we did the little square. And then we shifted it back into itself. So everything we're good. Plus minus a 32nd of an inch, then that's not even true. It's less than that, right? What? Plus minus a 64th? What? The tolerance is on this thing. 128th? How tight do we get it? 128th? Oh, yeah. 128th. You want to be on video? I don't care. You want to be famous? Oh, yeah. My apprentice? Yeah. It's my apprentice. He's been driving skid loaders, hauling forms. Pounding nails. Straightening nails. Straightening nails. That's right. We don't do names on this channel, kids. You got an internet name? Apprentice number one. Apprentice number one. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, that one's, that corner's perfect. It's really windy today. We were going to chalk out, but we're just going to do that in the morning. So what we'll do is we'll, I don't know, we're going to chalk the insides and the outsides. So we'll just, we'll just plop chalk lines. Boom, boom. And that way you can see everything. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. We're at four minutes. I'm trying to figure out how we're supposed to get more than four minutes. How's that looking over there? We've got oh the Euford ground. 
Oh, nice. So our Uford's right here on the outside, so that'll be nice. Uh, we, we will have to saw these little nubs off. We'll use a little hand saw, cut those clear, and then when we, when we restack, we'll, uh, we'll just glue it on there. So yeah, it's pretty close right there. That's, uh, that's, that's our height. And then, and then when we lay our corners, it'll just all lay out fine. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, no, that's about bad. I mean, that's in there, that's in there. So I think, cause we're not tying, we're not gonna try to tie those in. We're just gonna lay it down all the way through and then kill it on that end. And after it's all trimmed, the concrete's poured in there. Then we'll lay the corners and that'll all get laid out jigsaw style. But there's a bunch of windows and shit in here. How does that work again, Mark? Or uh, where, you put the mark down. You put the mark for the door, right? That's what you did, it's not your name. <laughs> you just been doxxed, bro. Uh, we come around the corner, we got uh, electrical panel here. Six foot door. Window. Uh, passenger door, three foot. How big? 77 inch window, then solid wall. This jump footing is because there's a retaining wall in here that comes back. So that's why we got this. And then once this, uh, this little stub wall goes in, big sheets of foam will sit right here and butt perfectly square to that and come out four feet. And that's what makes us a frost protected footing. I think we're actually gonna do we're end up, gonna end up putting uh, foam here and foam there just to like double whammy cover us. But uh, yeah, that'll be the, that's the jam. What else we got to record? Should we check on our neighbors? How's the neighbors doing today? We'll check the neighbors. Don't think there was any progress happening. Nope, no, the apprentice says there's no progress. Unfortunately, I don't get my apprentice for very long. It's a temporary apprenticeship. Oh, there's people there. There is progress. Let's get our zoom going. Zoom. That one over there, backfilled. Over here, not a whole lot. Been working there. Things are looking up. So the house is starting. All right, good deal. There's a dog down there. Oh, there is a dog. Wow, wow. All right. Well, boss man's picking up tools, so. I gotta fill that. I gotta fill that trailer full of dirt. That's gonna happen. You wanna film me doing that? You be too. Me doing that? Ah, uh, well, I don't wanna be here for an hour. Yeah. We're at eight minutes right now. Did you just get a little shot of me digging some dirt here. problems with stakes are I can't get it to the front of the thing I'm gonna run the stakes over. Right. A lot of dust. He's mad. Did you get him freaking out waving his hand? I think so. Good. He's right now. All right. Well, that's one scoop. We got a couple more to go, but uh, I gotta reposition everything, so that's probably gonna be the end of this one. Um, yeah, things are happening. Shouldn't have slept in until real late today. We've been